percent of the vote. All right, just a few more seconds till we kick it off. Yes, yes. Just set a record for the most primetime Emmy Awards nominations in one year. Game of Thrones, an Emmy for Megan, or One Tree Hill? Lock those answers in, baby. All right. Before today, Thrones had gotten 128 Emmy noms. As of today, it has 160 nominations because it just got 32 more. What? Yes. You know who else got nominated? A little show that rhymes with uh, Rach Pugh. It's us. Yeah, 217,521 got Game of Thrones. Make sure you pick up an extra life, okay? You can use up to three of them in tonight's game. You can buy them all right now if you see it on your screen. You can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on that heart icon down there. Don't forget, you cannot use an extra life on a question with a prize or after question 12. We got nominated. Ah, a phone Emmy. Yeah. Okay, question two. Here we go. What type of robots are fighting in this ad? Take a look. Two managers to handle the fighters and lots of skill to win. Is it Rock'em Sock'em, Romp'em Stomp'em, or Ringside Riffraff? Rock'em Sock'em, Romp'em Stomp'em, or Ringside Riffraff? For over half a century, people have been working out aggression through these Rock'em Sock'em robot surrogates. Rock'em Sock'em, y'all. 223,356. Mm, 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 mm. You got it. You're knocking it out of the park, babies. Question number three. Let's go. What animated film introduced the Minions? Hotel Transylvania, Despicable Me, or Monsters, Inc.? You know the Minions. Come on now. Little yellow guys in coveralls. Or little overalls. Those little yellow troublemakers have been scurrying around for almost a decade now, starting in 2010 with their debut appearance in Despicable Me. 220,357 got it right. 5,000 of you thought it was Monsters, Inc. How? Okay. Cool. Cool. Question number four, babies. Which U.S. president's middle name is Alan? Chester Arthur, James Polk, or Rutherford Hayes? Who's it going to be? All right. Rutherford Burchard Hayes. James Knox Polk. Chester Allen Arthur. It was Chester Arthur, y'all. Come on now. 120,935. Got it right. If for some reason you got knocked out on that one, tap your way back in. Keep on playing. This is my favorite part, y'all. For the children. I, 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 I. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 question five, yeah. it's question five for the children. Here we go. Who won the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPYs without ever playing a sport professionally? Dorothy Bush Koch, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, or Ruth Carter Stapleton? Those are some long names. Those are three accomplished presidential sisters, but only one reframed our understanding of things like sports, accomplishment, and winning by creating the Special Olympics. Eunice Kennedy Shriver. 109,280. Got it right. At question five, we're moving on to question number six. Let's get it. Mmm. Boing, boing. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? The world's largest hydroelectric station is powered by what river? Parana, Colombia, or Yangtze? If you want a dam, that'll make you go, damn! 
You better book a ticket to the Three Gorges Dam and its 32 turbines pulling 87 terawatts a year out of China's mighty Yangtze River. 132,250. Got the Yangtze. Yeah. All right. High five. Yangtze. Question number seven, babies. Here we go. An annual parade held in Philadelphia features what festively dressed dancers? Poppers, mummers, or cinchinchers? <laughs> Somebody's like, let's give Matt all the tricky stuff to say today. Yeah. I'm taking it, baby. Every New Year's Day, the closest thing to Mardi Gras you'll see up north takes place when Philadelphia's uninhibited American community gets dolled up and gets mumming. Mummers. 127,714 got the mummers. Yeah. See some extra lives getting dropped right now because you're like, what? A mama? I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, now you know. Question eight. Know you're feeling great. Here we go. After its commercial failure, what was New Coke rebranded as in some markets? Coca Cooler, Coke Two, or Coke Junior? New Coke. There's ordinary failure, which we're all capable of, and then there's the crashing failure of New Coke. But big corporations hate to admit they screwed up, so for years the Titanic of beverages popped in and out of U.S. markets under the name Coke Two. One hundred eleven thousand eight hundred ninety-seven. Pick Coke Two, and you are on your way to question number nine. Oh boy! Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Before its extinction, the dodo bird lived where? Mauritius, Australia, or New Zealand? What's it going to be? Hmm? Extinction's a nasty business. No species has ever come back from it. Yeah, but when living conditions change, not everyone can adapt. And the dodo was just too slow, unafraid of humans, and delicious when sailors started coming to Mauritius. Delicious Mauritius. Yeah. 74,011. Got it right. Let's go. Come on, get with it. Question 10, babies. Ready? Who was a guest on the infamous split screen fight episode of The View? Sally Field, Alicia Silverstone, or Patricia Arquette? Who's it going to be? After Elizabeth Hasselbeck and Rosie O'Donnell screamed at each other for like 10 minutes, they went to commercial, but not before announcing upcoming guest Alicia Silverstone. What? what? 65,826. Got it right. You're moving on to question 11, babies. This is the first time I'm flipping some money in your direction. Let's go. As a hot cup of joe. Mm -mm. Here we go. On the time scale used by historians, about when does modern history begin? Revolutionary War, Industrial Revolution, or Renaissance? Imagine separating everything that's ever happened into just three main periods. That's what historians have done, giving us antiquity, middle ages, and modern times, putting that second dividing line right around the Renaissance. Right around the Renaissance. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Shimmy. Yeah. 25,264 are getting eight cents. I'm flipping some money to you. We got four questions until the next prize. What are you going to do? You're going to take the cash and dash? You're going to stay and play? The choice is yours. We gonna see. 4,977 players decided to take 8 cents. Congratulations! You won some money! Whoop whoop! And a yee yee. Question 12, baby. This is your last opportunity to use an extra life. So if you get this one wrong, then you can, you know, get on back in. Alright. Okay. This one's going to be tricky for me to pronounce. Here we go. Question 12. What nation separates most of Azerbaijan from its exclave of Nakhchivan? Armenia, Georgia, or Russia? Go 
ahead, Max. Whew. Azerbaijan looks like a splotch of ketchup that missed the plate. Thanks partly to Nakhchivan, the disconnected chunk to the south of it. And Azerbaijanians. <laughs> Azerbaijanians. <laughs> Azerbaijanians. What's somebody from Azerbaijan called? Huh? Azerbaijanians. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan people from there on both sides, they need their passport to go visiting because Armenia is blocking the way. Azerbaijanians. <laughs> I'm going to get a letter from somebody from there like, I did not like the way you... Sorry. I'm so sorry. 15,778 got Armenia. That was correct. Yee yee. Question 13, Jelly Beans. Here we go. Which of these numbers is generally the lowest in most people? LDL, HDL, or total cholesterol? What's it going to be? Okay, dokie. In general... The total cholesterol number will be the highest, followed by the LDL, then the HDL. 6,228. I'm moving on to question 14. So proud of you, babies. We're doing it. And while we're all at it, let's all eat some Cheerios and lower all of those things. Right? Shout out to Cheerios. Okay, question. <laughs> question 14. Here we go. In 300. What comes after this line? Take a look. Come back with your shield. For me, or don't return, or on it. For me, or don't return, or on it. The line, come back with your shield, is followed by this. Take a look. Or on it. Or on it is the answer. Yeah! Cersei always been bad. You know what I'm saying? She was bad in Greece. She was bad in Westeros. Go ahead, Cersei. Come back with your shield or on it. 4,910 are shielded against the savagery. And you're moving forward to victory. Question 15. Get this one right. I flip some more money at you. Here we go. All right. The oldest signer of the Declaration of Independence is credited with inventing what? Sewing machine, lithography, or rocking chair? What's it going to be? At 70 years old, the oldest signer of the Declaration of Independence was Benjamin Franklin, the inventor of, among other things, the rocking chair. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 2033. Got it right. And you rocking out like Chanticleer because you just got the rocking chair. A cockadoo. Sun do shine. You better shine. One dollar forty eight cents going out to two hundred thirty players. I'm delusional now. Okay, this is my fourth cup of coffee. I'm feeling good. What you gonna do? You gonna take a dollar forty eight, or you gonna say no, money flipper? Keep it. I'm gonna go the distance. The choice is yours. 903 players decided to take $1.48. We still have 1,127 still in the game. So I'm rooting for you, babies. Three, three questions till the next prize. Let's go. Woo -woo. Here we go. Which work of literature had an extremely slight title change when animated by Disney? 101 Dalmatians, The Reluctant Dragon, or The Black Cauldron? Okay, Black Cauldron was from Lloyd Alexander's Chronicles of Prydain, of the series that included the Black Cauldron, and uh, Kenneth Graham's original short story was The Reluctant Dragon. But Dodie Smith's novel was The 101 Dalmatians. So it's a very slight... 101 Dalmatians was the answer. It's a very slight title change. Because Disney was like, yeah, we're going to do a little... We're going to do a little tweak. little tweak it. 310 of you got it right. You're moving on to question 17. Here we go. Whew. Let's get it. This animal is native to the country with which of these capitals? Take a look.
Quito, Wellington, or Antananarivo. Quito, Wellington, or Antananarivo. This is a picture of a lemur, okay? The only native to Madagascar, the capital of which is Antananarivo. 195 players got Antananarivo. Yeah. You're going to question 18. The next chance to win some money. Follow your boy at Matt Was Funny. Here we go. On a standard grand piano, which pedal is typically used the least often? Left, middle, or right? What's it going to be? Okay, the most common pedal is the one on the right, the damper pedal. On the left is the soft pedal, which softens and modifies the tone. The middle pedal, the sostenuto, is sometimes not even there and is more common in organ music. Yeah, how much money am I going to flip to 95 players? Sostenuto, we're going to see. $21.28 going out to 94 of you. Three questions until the next prize. So what are you going to do? You're going to take that money or you're going to stay and play? The choice is yours. 63 players just got $21.28 richer. Come on now. All right. 31 of you still in the game. Three questions until the next prize. Here we go. Question 19. The shortest titled film to win Best Picture Oscar this century stars an actor from what TV show? Breaking Bad, Beverly Hills 90210, or Stranger Things? All right. The shortest titled film to win Best Picture this century is 2012's Argo, which features Brian Cranston of Breaking Bad. Yeah! Science! <laughs> Eight of you got Breaking Bad. Let's go. Question number 20. Here we go. Which of these types of animals works as an employee at Chicago's largest airport? Owl, cat, or donkey? Shot town stand up. During summer months, sheep, goats, and one donkey help trim the grass around the airport. Oh! 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 oh. Two players still in the game. Six of you got knocked out with some savagery, but we got two players still in the game. Oh, boy. Here we go. Question 21. Last prize before the jackpot. Let's see if we can go the distance. Get this one right. I flipped some money to both of y'all. Here we go. Q21. Which band does not feature a member who has won a Grammy for Best Score or Soundtrack? Nine Inch Nails, Oingo Boingo, or Simon and Garfunkel? Who's it going to be? All right. Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails won this Grammy, as did Paul Simon, formerly of Simon and Garfunkel. But Danny Elfman, formerly of Oingo Boingo, has been nominated. Oh, one person got it right! Yeah! I'm about to flip some money to one person. $1,500. Well, you going to take it? We got nine more questions until the jackpot. Do you think you got what it takes to answer nine more questions correctly? It's that simple. What you going to do, baby? All right, J. Dan Fan. Congratulations. You just got $1,500. <laughs> J. Dan Dan. What is it, Dan? I see you using a, a great ball to catch. Is it ultra, ultra ball? To catch a scyther? That's pretty gangster. Yeah. Pokemon Go. Congrats to all the winners and to everyone who reached a new level. I'm Matt Riches, your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast. I had so much fun with you guys. Don't go too far. Words is coming up next with a special guest host. Until next time, have an awesome night, babies. I love you so much. I love you so much. Am I with